we started hearing the screams. Surveillance video obtained exclusively by CBS Austin shows the moment a gray Mazda drove through the intersection of Red River and 7th Street overnight Tuesday. We've paused it before the two victims are hit, leaving one person dead and another fighting for their life. The driver can also be seen speeding away from the scene. First responders can later be seen performing life-saving measures on the two people hit, all happening in the heart of South by Southwest. Once the light turns green, it's basically a racetrack. Jessica Cohen, a former EMT medic of 10 years, was working at a bar nearby when those two pedestrians, who have yet to be identified, were struck by a car around 1 a.m. The, the young man that died was hit dead in the middle of the crosswalk on a white walk side, so he clearly had the right of way and it threw him almost 50 feet. Jessica says South by Southwest has put additional safety measures in place over the years to prevent things like this, but may need to revisit their safety plan after this crash. Got these new barricades are up so we don't have a repeat of the 2014 incident. Rashad Owens is serving life without parole for driving into a crowded street during South by Southwest in 2014, killing four people and injuring 23 others. At the time, he was drunk and trying to escape Austin police. Since then, APD and the festival have put in additional street barricades and lighting downtown. Within the South by Southwest barricades, we do have an officer at any every intersection. We have parked police patrol vehicles at those intersections as well. Cohen says she hopes this pattern of pedestrian fatalities at South by Southwest comes to an end. Trying to be a town that's inclusive, micro mobility, better walking, yet we've still got cars that are doing 50, 60, miles an hour on a four lane road through downtown killing people. Maybe next year they'll take this and maybe limit it to like one or two lanes. Congestion will force people to slow down. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.